hopefully everybody's having a great day. Uh, I kind of wanted to give you guys like a little bit of a tour. Uh, some of the things I use, some of the things, you know, that work, you know, for me. Uh, give you guys a little bit of a show and tell of some of my artwork that I've done in the past and some of the stuff I'm working on right now. But, uh, yeah, I'll get right into it. I did this when the movie came out. It's just the number two pencil on uh, just 8.5 by 11 computer paper. Got the alien, the predator. Decided to grab a pencil. Thought it was a really cool image. Started sketching away at it. The predator again. Alright, this is my very first one that I did on a canvas. Uh, I didn't use any primer. I just started drawing on it and then just started painting on it. So, uh, it was a cheaper one. I just wanted to just kind of, you know, do a little bit of a practice one just to see what I was going to get into. This one I actually learned from. I went out and bought me gesso. It's the same canvas. I put the gesso on. I didn't sand any of this. So I just kind of got like a little bit of a, of a texture to it. So the paint sticks really well to this. Going down to the Predator. I put him on a really nice canvas. It's got more of a uh, sandpaper gritty feel to it. I kind of wanted to try a couple different ones just to kind of see between a cheap one and expensive one. I did clear coat all three of these to kind of give it more of a shine. All right, moving on to the Pirates. Uh, did all of this on a 22 by 28 uh, poster board. Uh, used Prismacolors uh, pencils and markers. That was my last one I'd done with, you know, markers and pencils. So, uh, uh, got the Underworld. That's a great movie. Don't mind the power cord here. It's just pretty much a work in progress. Uh, Spider-Man, that one came out pretty good. All three of these are all the same poster board and uh, markers and pencils. Uh, I actually painted her on fabric. I uh, just cut it out a white piece of fabric, uh, painted on it, and then just kind of framed it. Uh, this was the first uh, shirt I painted on. I used Create Text paint and then I heat setted it with an iron just so the paint doesn't, you know, wash out. All right, this was a uh, awesome movie. Uh, I like the colors that I used on here with the blue and then making his eyes glow. So I think he came out pretty nice. Tomb Raider game decide to put her on a shirt which I don't even wear. I just figured this looks better on my wall, so that's kind of where she's at right now. Jumping over, I didn't have nothing to paint on at the time, so I just grabbed me an old shirt, black shirt, this is like my work, my work shirt. Uh, just drew out the Rob Zombie, you know, Hellbilly Deluxe album cover, and uh, just started spraying it, so. Here is a new picture that I'm working on, so if anybody knows who that is, uh, leave a comment. It'll be pretty cool if you do actually know who that is. My Joker wall. I decided to do like almost kind of the whole, you know, the whole wall as the same theme. Uh, started out with him, did him on fabric. This one I actually, uh, I painted him first and then I kind of didn't really worry about the background until I got him completely done and then I came back in uh, added, you know, the purple, added the green, uh, drew him on there, painted him, uh, also drew him on there and painted him. Uh, this is actually on my wall. Um, I, it's not like any kind of picture frame that you can just take off. So uh, I clear coated it, uh, got this crown molding here and painted that and got that, you know, stamped around so it kind of looks like a picture you know, like a frame that you can, you know, pull off the wall and put back on, but moving down to him, he was, he's my recent one, got my horror picture, uh, I did this one a while back with pencil, uh, I pretty much cut it all these pictures out when I, when I went through them and I did them, and, uh, kind of collaged them all together, put tape on the back side, and kind of stuck them all to kind of, you know, make them fit so it's just one big picture, but 
There's actually got a whole bunch of little ones. All right, this is on a 22 by 28 poster board again. Uh, markers and pencils, Prismacolor. Uh, I actually cut out and ordered a poster of the picture that I was doing. It's a little bit darker than what you know my picture actually was. So uh, I kind of used it as a reference, and then I kind of used my laptop at the time to kind of zoom in and kind of get you know the colors and stuff that I wanted just to kind of make it, you know, you can see it a lot better. Uh, Batman, I got him on, I think he's 18 by 24, I do believe. Uh, got him on fabric, um, just kind of, it's a white fabric, just kind of cut it out, taped it all up, and kind of sprayed on him. So, uh, Jurassic World, uh, I did it when the movie came out, uh, black and white. It's kind of hard to see again with the glare on the top of my ceiling. I figure I'd just do a little quick, you know, run around it. Painted him a while back. It was another, it was on black also. So pretty much you paint over white. And then you just put the color over top of that. Pretty simple. Alright, jumping over to the air compressor. Uh, 17 gallon Husky. That thing won't let me down. Uh, I've been using it pretty much every single day for years and years. So, And uh, it is louder than you would think that that thing would you know, sound like. I pretty much turn it on throw it in there, close my door, and then I don't open it up until, you know, it's done. But uh, you fill it up, you know, a couple minutes, and you'll be painting for hours and hours and hours. For my, my monitor of what I look off of, um, I just got me a 42 TV, 42-inch TV, and then I just got it hooked up to my computer down there just so I can just look at a screen and then I can just refer back to my picture. So uh, it makes it quite convenient. Um, everything's all right there so I don't really have to move a whole lot. Alright, moving on to paint. Um, I like Wicked. I've been using them for quite a while. Uh, and then Createx. This is what I've been doing, you know, the shirts and stuff over there. So uh, pretty much this is cured by heat. This is my old retired one. I got this one as a Christmas present. This is my very, very first one. Uh, I think it's got a 0.5 needle. Iwata, again, the High Line. Like the next one up. This one's got the uh, 0.3 needle. It's got the Mac valve on it, which I love that. Then I got me the Custom Micron. Uh, I love this one. So, uh... I used him for a really, really long time. Uh, he's also got the valve on it, turn you know the air up and down. The .23 millimeter needle, so pretty much it's a really thin needle. So if you don't have your paint reduced down, you know quite a bit, you're going to be all clogged up and you're going to be taking them apart. And I decided to get away from the Iwata and just try something completely different. So then I kind of jumped up to the. Uh, Harder and Steenbeck Chameleon 2-in-1. Uh, he's kind of dirty because I've been spraying yellow out of it. Uh, this right here is hands down pretty much my favorite one after using all of, you know, all three of these. Uh, I couldn't believe how easy this one was. The weight difference, I think it was a whole heck of a lot easier to clean this thing than, you know, some of these other ones. This one, it'll be glued to my hand probably for a really long time but you can't do anything with the air pressure on this you can't turn it up or turn it down so then you just go ahead and just buy you a little quick release one that just goes right onto it so you can pretty much just turn it up and turn it down right on the uh, right on the bottom so it ain't no big deal there is I don't think there is anything bad I can say about this but that's just my two cents Whatever you use that works, you know, that's that's fun. Uh, this is just what I use, so there ain't no, you know, right or wrong. So it's more of a challenge, you know, when you're working, you know, with a smaller needle. 
I know when I was mixing paint, I pretty much was mixing, you know, everything wrong. I was sitting there shooting it out of the custom micron. Uh, I didn't have anything right. I, I went from the revolution, probably about, um, back in probably 2005, I bought him and then I, I used him for a while, didn't paint for about 10 years or so. And then I jumped straight to the custom micron. You know, if you have any questions about something, uh, go ahead and, you know, send me a comment. Uh, I will read it and I will get back to you. Uh, I promise. Pretty much, man, that's it, man. I'll, uh, I'll talk to you guys later.